And good evening, I'm meteorologist Amber Wheeler, and this is your one minute forecast on this Friday, September 16th. I wanna show you the almanac and show you what we hit today. Uh, we hit 62, it was cool in Bismarck. Our average is 74, so well below that average. Uh, and you can see there, that record low, that was down uh, to 26 in 1973. That's, that's pretty cold. Here is your Minot Almanac. We didn't even break 60 today in Minot. It was pretty cold uh, in Minot today, well below that average of 73. Uh, the record's there, 96 and 24, so certainly far from those records. Now, here's a look at our satellite and radar. As of right now, it's 8.29 p.m., so exiting rain to the northeast, but there's more moving in from the southwest. This is going to be the culprit behind our rain as we head into Saturday, and with that, it will bring in some actual warmth, a little more warmth, I should say. It won't be a hot day tomorrow by any stretch, but it'll be warmer. Uh, so rain moves in tomorrow morning to the southwest. Uh, and then as we head through the latter part of the morning and around lunchtime, we'll start seeing that move towards the northern part of the state. But it could linger for a lot of us and stay pretty scattered through the day on Saturday, really ending by Saturday evening uh, in the northeast, if not kind of lingering around the Turtle Mountain region into the overnight hours. So something to keep in mind as we head into Sunday, with the exception of a few passing clouds, as you see there, we've got a drier day and a much warmer day. So here's the moisture potential. Notice that most of this moisture is going to fall in the southern half of the state. And that's because uh, a lot of that uh, that system, as it lifts to the north, is pretty much going to dump most of its rain in the south. Lows tonight back down to the 40s. It is a cool night for a lot of us. And then once we get into tomorrow, we are looking at uh, highs on Saturday back into the 60s, even some 70s in the northwest. Here are your next 10 days. Summer's not done, and the, uh, the forecast says so. You see there on Monday, 80s. But fall starts on Thursday, and that's when we really cool. And I can tell you right now, I'm looking at uh, overnight lows next week because towards the end of next week, we could see temperatures down to the